our aim is to learn modules modules auxiliary verbs they are also some kind of helping verbs yam vidihaka some kind of yam vidihaka upakaraka kriya pada kihipak but these uh, verbs cannot uh, cannot be used these verbs cannot be used with ing forms or past form or past participle form like that that is the difference eka thama wenasa meva ing form ekin ho past form past participle dira pawachchi karanna bae we only add them add them to uh, original form of a word for example can can is a model what does can express express prakash karana express prakash karana what does can express can expresses ability can expresses ability to do something right can expresses ability to do something uh, i can teach that means i have the ability to teach you can be mata mata hakiyawa thiyena i have the ability to teach i can teach right then uh, could could is the past form of can that means could expresses past ability atit hakiyawak right i had the ability i had the ability mata hakiyawa thibuna i had the ability to do it right i could do it so and uh, it also expresses uh possibility we are happy about it we are happy about it possibility uh, uh she could come today she could come today ada enna puluwam etana una kene kene ne it depends on the situation it depends eke e mata padanam wenawa e anu wenas wenawa it depends right so basically uh could expresses past ability that means past form of can i could do it that means i had the ability to do it mate ga karanna puluwam una right then uh, may may expresses possibility possibility we hai ki baba venna puluwam baba right uh, she may help us she may help us ay apata udaw karanna ida tiyenawa ida tiyenawa we had the power right possibility then might might is the past form of me in indirect speech indirect speech wala uh, thi me wala past form ek might right in the, i will i will teach you indirect speech later later password i will teach you later password so now uh, might expresses less possibility less possibility wada adu we hakki bawak right uh, uh, if there is a, a higher possibility of her coming if there is a higher possibility of her coming age panini me wada wedi hakiyawa thiyenawa nam api kiyenawa she may come ai inna puluwa ai nedi thiyenawa because there is a higher possibility of her coming again the minimum what a very happy about the now if there is a less possibility of her coming again the minimum what a adu happy about nam tiyenne it depends eka wenas wena what a adu happy about nam tiyenne we say api kiyena we say she might come that is the difference she might come then should should expresses should expresses uh, obligation dadi mak yam kala itu bawak right uh, duty ka raja karya ka yutu ikena dahasa should i should do it i should do it that means i have the duty i have the duty i have an obligation i have an obligation to do it eka kirime mata dadi mak tiyena raja karya itu ka mak tiyena right so should expresses obligation express prakash karana then uh, 
must expresses a strong obligation. Vada shakti mat. Vada shakti mat bandhi mak. Right. Uh, you should help people. Nisuta bhagdaukala yadui. As a human being, manusya klesa, you should help people. But you must help your parents. Obe dibhaupiyanta, you must help your parents. That is the difference. Right? So, will, we, as we learned before, uh, will expresses future action. Will is used to express any future action. Express, prakashakarana. One of future action. Uh, to express karana, we use will. We use bahavita karana. Right? Uh, then, would. Would is the past form of will. In uh, indirect speech. Indirect speech. I will teach you indirect speech later. Later. That is later. Passive. Right? So, would expresses a past form of will or possibility. Right? She would come today. I need the now. You can use that sentence. She would come today. I need the now. That is, uh, that expresses less possibility. Not the past form of will. It depends. It depends on how you use it. Right. Now you know all the, these are the models we are uh, first going to deal with. Right. These are the models. They are, I mean, sometimes they are used for some uh, odd situations as well. Right. Some amutu tattu and odd situations. Well, that may have you know, but uh, we can learn them later. This is the uh, most important uh, usage of these models. Right? Uh, though other uses are very uh, insignificant. Right. So, uh, let's use these models with uh, simple actions. I am going to teach you models only with simple actions. You know, there are four types of actions. Simple, continuous, perfect, perfect, continuous. We learned them before. Right? Please refer to my previous videos. Right? So here, we are. I am going to teach you only with simple actions. Right? Sarala Kriya Vasamgin Pamanai. Then, uh, uh, in active voice, active voice, what happens? Model plus original form of the action word. You know, in simple actions, we use only the action word. In simple actions, we use I mean, only the action word. Right? Action word pick up on it. Right? So here, uh, model plus original form of the action word. Uh, that is also another thing. After a model, you have to use original form. Model hekata pasu original form of a verb. Verb We learned them all before. Right. In passive voice, you know the passive voice card. Right? What, is the pass what do you mean by passive voice? There is no doer in the subject. Subject is not doer. Karan na nahe. Right? Or doer is not important. It could do weather than then the affected person no thing comes to the subject. Yadatuna putgale hode no subject athlete. And we communicate it with B verb and past participle. Because any way the nigger no B verbs are past participle samgi. Or B verb and fifth form of the action verb. That is how you communicate passive words. B verb and fifth form. Write, written, give, given. Past participle is given. Teach, taught. Past participle is taught. Right. Okay. Then uh, I can teach economics. I can teach economics. That means I have the ability. I have the ability to teach economics. But economics, I can teach economics. Then uh, how do you speak it in passive voice? In passive voice, there is no doer in the subject. Doer, karan nanaha subject to So affected person no thing comes to the subject. 
Then you communicate it with be verb and past participle form of the action verb. Be verb. And fifth form, or paswana sarupai, be verb beka samagi. That is how you communicate it. Ehemai, ehemai, that is how, ehemai. Right? So, no doer, aina hai. So, economics comes. Economics, economics uh, can be taught. Artika vidya uganwana puluva. Can teach economics is not a good sentence. It is broken English. Right? Economics can be taught. Right? Economics, the affected thing here. So you have to communicate it with be verb and past participle form of the action verb. Fifth form of the action verb. Teach, taught. Economics can be taught. Then, uh, I could teach economics. Could. Past ability. Right? That means I had the ability to teach economics. I could teach economics. Right? Then how do you express it in passive voice? Economics could be taught. Economics could be taught. No doer. Subject consists of the affected person, no thing. Then I may teach economics. I may. There is a possibility. We are happy about the no. When the puluang come up the no. Mama English you gonna need a tea no. Mama English you gonna need a tea no. I may, I am sorry. I am, I may teach economics. Mama Arthik Vidya you gonna need a tea no. Right. Then uh, passive voice. Economics may be taught. Economics may be taught today in the class. Ada ada panti Arthik Vidya you gonna need a tea no. You can express it nicely. Right. Economics may be taught. Then uh, I might teach, might, less possibility. What I do I might teach economics. How do you speak it in passive voice? Right? Economics might be taught. Very easy. When you identify the rhythm, it is very easy. Rhythm make Allah than non English. Become a single in Kathak. Walk translate karakari in the Please feel the rhythm. Identify it and collect words and then you can speak English very simple process there then I should I should teach economics should jutui possible I mean uh, obligation obligation or duty I should teach economics then how do you speak it in passive voice economics should be taught same way economics should be taught then I must teach economics. I must stronger, stronger obligation. What are ready Bandima? Right? Mama English again you too. Mama economics again you too man. Mama Arti Kiridia again you too man. I must teach economics. Then uh, economics must be taught. Economics must be taught. Arti Kiridia again you too man. No doer. Subject consists of the affected thing here. So you communicate it with be verb and past participle, that is passive words.